Joining us from Singapore, this is the first time we've gotten to see Dr. Suresh Venkatesan, CEO of Poet Technologies in the lab, uh, with uh, working with the team. Suresh, what's happening behind you? Yeah, hey, good morning, uh, Adrian. Thanks for uh, taking the time to do this. You know, we're, you know, I try to come to Singapore every eight weeks or so, so it's always great to be here. It's almost kind of the hub of where all the activity and action is uh, is occurring. So it's uh, it's always a pleasure for me to be here and and kind of get my hands dirty uh, to the extent that I still can, right? And and with the lab here. So um, you know, I'm here in Singapore in the lab um, that we have. The lab here is set up um, to receive uh, wafers that are built at Silterra in Malaysia. Um, and, and all the testing on the wafers is done here prior to shipment of wafers to Superphotonics for assembly. And um, there's a certain bit of assembly that is also done here in Singapore. And the lab behind me basically is set up to do all the testing, failure analysis, as well as the reliability assessments of the optical engines um, you know, that we're building. So I can step aside and you'll have a good sense of you know the equipment we've got operators and technicians working already you know taking measurements and some of the optical engines that we're building we've got one station set up for receive one other station set up for transmit um, we've got you know infrared microscopy a laser microscopy reliability equipments um, and yeah so it's a really well self-contained lab it's got room to expand and um, yeah, we're pretty excited to be here. It's exciting to see the action happening there. There's a lot of folks, I'm not sure if you know in North America, who are very keen about uh, what happens uh, in the Poet Labs. Uh, but what, what's exciting you about the work that you guys are doing there? Well, I mean, I believe that the Poet technology that we have is revolutionary. So I think it's an opportunity for us to really transform the industry. So, I mean, to be able to be part of the, making it work and getting it actually to, you know, build it and to actually see it come to fruition is just a pleasure. So this is just a fantastic opportunity and an experience for me right now. And when you have Suresh coming to visit, what, uh, what do you guys, do you roll out the red carpet for him? Is it, is it an opportunity to show, uh, the, the demonstrate the, the, the progress you've made? Oh, yeah. I mean, I've known Suresh for many years, actually, even before Poet. And so, I mean, that relationship really helps me to come to understand a little bit about his vision and what he wants to be able to do. And I think, um, you know, he, he, here, when he comes over to Singapore, uh, we actually get a, an opportunity to really figure out um, how we want to be able to execute the roadmap, the technology, and to get the proposal uh, running, tested, and developed to what we want it to be. So I think that's a, uh, uh, we, we do talk through a bit of the uh, technology and we actually work through it. A lot of the problem solving over here in Singapore. And uh, tell us a bit about, uh, you know, what, what, what will you be working on today after you and I start uh, our conversation ends? All right. I think on the daily activities, uh, our Singapore team is really focused on doing the develop, development of the optical composer. This is part one key part of the technology that goes into the optical engine. So we do the inspections to make sure that the uh, devices are uh, looking what it's supposed to be looking. We do the testing to validate its performances and we perform field analysis as needed uh, to debug problems and to fix the issues that we sometimes do come across. Mm -hmm. And what, what are you hearing feedback wise from whether it's the industry or uh, uh, the colleagues that you're uh, um, that you may have introduced the, the optical interposer to? What, what kind of feedback are you getting? I, from what I've heard from the OFC recently, I think that was phenomenal. Uh, there was a lot of excitement and I, I, I can understand that because I mean what we do is revolutionary as opposed to being evolutionary. Uh, I come from a background previously that is in uh, semiconductor CMOS technology, uh, and we have done scaling, you know, from across multiple nodes. That is quite evolutionary, but what we're doing over here is actually going to change the industry. Wow, that's amazing. Uh, that uh, is that a part of uh, 
you feel for not only yourself but maybe the team is is this a bit of not only pride but hey we're going to be legacy building a bit for ourselves here yeah definitely i think it's a it, it's a very good and interesting opportunity uh to be part of something transformational um i mean i i i worked on multiple notes uh previously at global foundries and even looked at technology development at imac but to be able to put technology into into the hands of uh customers and to to be able to see it work in the industry and be transformational i think that's just uh just a wonderful experience james and i'll we'll let you get back to it thank you again for taking the time i'm sure we'll be speaking again soon All right thank you very much the, the mood in the team in singapore what what's uh what's your sense of uh how people are are feeling right now and 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 what the work that they're doing i think there's a lot of stress obviously within the team i can sense it uh but that's good stress right you have to have that degree of stress and pressure to deliver um that that i do sense but you know that's all part of the game i mean you know we're you know we we don't expect as a small company for people to uh you know roll down and 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 show us a path i mean we have to create our own destiny and we have to create our path and i think the team here understands that and they also understand how critical of a role they play in it so i i sense I sense a good stress, right? It's not, you know, frustrated stress uh in terms of not being able to deliver, but but I think it's it's good overall. In terms of the commercialization and the next steps, using a golf analogy, are we on the green? Are we on the fairway? Uh Oh, definitely on the green. Uh lining up putts depending on the type of product we're uh, working with. It depends on how close to to the to the hole we are on, but we're generally lining up our putts. Um the 100 and 400 gig products are definitely you know more mature and we're working to get the samples out to customers as quickly as possible that represent beta and production uh and we're working through um the 200 gig sample requirements with our customers post our release of the OFC um but we're happy that you know there are many customers now uh you know lining up for samples i think they like what they see they like the fact that you know an investment in our technology and our approach has legs um that it can extend um you know out in time and it's not you know an investment that's a single shot um and so you know the the ability uh, for us to demonstrate at the OFC that we could you know not only could do 100 gig which we did at the CIOE but rather extend the roadmap you know util- utilizing our technology to newer nodes to faster speeds um i think was important and uh and you know i think the team is of course very much um you know focused right now on you know dotting i's crossing t's um you know getting to the final um betas and then of course the betas represent production worthy samples which uh, which is of course you know a, a, a lot more difficult in terms of the total number of things that need to be done relative to an alpha sample that we did you know 6 to 9 months ago so uh we're working through that and and we're confident that over the course of you know the next month or two um we will be able to get these samples in the hands of customers in sufficient quantities and volumes that gives them the confidence that we can actually execute a production play mm-hmm.